Hey viewers and subscribers, I'm headed back out this morning. Uh, beautiful day, the rain is taking a break. I actually see some blue sky. Headed back down to the 1904 house because I know after I dug that Morgan, my brain just went to jelly and I was missing targets. I wasn't digging holes I should have been. It's probably digging stuff I shouldn't have been because I just couldn't think straight. Um, just a shout out to iDig History. Anthony's doing a really killer uh, silver giveaway for his thousand subscriber benchmark that he's made it to. Head on over to his channel. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. If you are, watch the video, follow his instructions, and hopefully you'll be a winner. I'm hoping to be a winner myself. Uh, last time I was out, I dedicated the hunt to uh, Doris, and I'm going to do the same thing today. I can't imagine ever digging a silver uh, two hunts in a row, or not a silver, a um, silver dollar two hunts in a row, but hey, if it works, it works. Uh, I'll see you when I hit the ground. Okay, this is a real broken tone. Uh, it's got about five inches, maybe six. Probably garbage, but just in case, that hurt high chirp was giving it a little bit of curiosity, so I'm going to dig it out. It's got a little depth to it. Just a clad dime down there, really deep. All right, first dig, clad dime, rather deep. Moving on. All right, I got about a four inch, maybe five inch. Chirps in high once in a while. <sighs> Sounds a lot like a top penny, but once in a while I get that high pitcher. The sound of a decent coin, but. I just found a clad dime probably in the six, seven inch mark. Yeah, it doesn't sound like silver. It sounds like copper or clad. In my hand. It is. That's just a deep blink in the wild. All right, moving on. All right, I got two tones about two feet apart. Both real shallow. 1412 on the uh, E-track reading. It is probably junk, but we'll get it figured out. I'm sure they're right in top. I pull tab. Dug a few of them already. Got a big below. Oh, it's a nickel. Yep, a nickel. Kind of what I expected. Alright. Let me move over and get on the other one. One second. The other one is right about here. Exactly the same tone. Oh, that is a gold ring. It's got to be. Oh, it's bent a little bit. Sweet. Man almighty. No way. I don't see any markings on it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it has words in there too. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't find gold often, but when I do, <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, I'll try to get a picture of that later, but right in the bottom 
here. It says 14K. I don't think I can get that. Oh well, there it is. You can see the band has gotten beat by something. Gold, gold, Man, that thing is just bent. Yeah, it's cool. I can't read what it says. It says something shipped. No idea. Alright. Well, let's get digging. Get moving on. I keep listening to those low, tone, low tones. Awesome, awesome. Alrighty. Moving on. I think I got my first quarter. That certainly sounds like a quarter. I think it's right about on top too. That has got to be a quarter. Not a quarter. That has got to be a token. Yeah, change point. Change point, the power of change lies within me. The power of change lies within me. Change point, that's a big token. That thing's about half dollar size. Pretty cool token. I think I have a, a token for the month's entry that's better than this one. I can't remember. Um, pretty cool. Alrighty, moving on. This in here, it's been a while since I dug anything. Uh, I think the last thing I dug was a token. Prior to that was a, a gold ring. Um, this in here sounds like a surface quarter, which means it's probably a hot wheel. <coughs> Can't be very deep with that high a pitch. And that's what it is, it's a quarter. Alright, that is my first quarter of the day. I don't have a whole lot of time out here today as I've got stuff to do, but I'm finding good stuff. Alright, I'm moving on. I got another good tone here. I gotta find it again. Oh. Uh. Well. Wow, I can't find it. That's it. It's kind of broken in one way. If I go on uh, discrimination. I don't hear it nearly as good. Alright, let me get on this thing, set up. I'm going to pause it, set up, and I'll dig it out. Alright, this one had, I'd say about four or five inches on it. Sounded at times like a quarter. At the times it broke up like a stupid penny. It probably is a copper penny. <laughs> Only one way to find out. The little probes are too close to making all kinds of noise. I dig it out. No, it's, yeah, it's just broken. It's kind of choppy. Kind of pitchy. Kind of don't know. Why do I sound so promising at times? Good news, nice and deep.
Man, this thing must be deeper than I thought. Oh, I got it out. Oh, there it is. It's a shiner. It's quarter. Washington quarter. 50, 59, I think. 59 Washington. Alrighty, that's the first silver for the day. Hopefully not the last. Awesome. I'm loving that. Not quite as exciting as a uh, Morgan, but not bad nonetheless. Alrighty. Moving on. Okay, about two feet away is where I dug that 59 Washington just a moment ago. This one here, same sound, except much better. Right on top, probably clad surface. Yeah, that's gotta be clad, that shallow. And it is. 98 clad quarter. Not to three quarters. I wasn't finding quarters for a while, now I'm up to three. One of them being silver. Loving that. And moving on. Okay, here we are with the digs of the day. It was a, a really good hunt today. Um, wasn't quite as exciting as digging the, the Morgan, but uh, I'll go through my garbage here. I got a bracelet. It's got to be aluminum. Rang out like a quarter. It's pretty bent up. I got it fairly straightened out straightened out enough to where I knew I was going to put it in the video, so I just made it look like a bracelet again. Got an old garden hose end. Gotta be brass. I don't know what they made these things. Brass, copper, something like that. Got a bunch of pull tabs. Pull tabs is a uh, low toners, bottle cap, uh, penny pile. Got the one nickel. That nickel was in the same video as the ring both identical tones on the e-track is kicking me a 14 12 14 13 12 13 12 12 uh, the one token I found says change point on it a little bit bigger than a, well it's probably about the same size as a half dollar backside says the power of change lies within a, within me pretty cool token haven't found a token that big in a while got my dimes one of the dimes just got destroyed by some sort of equipment Hard and talent, lawnmower, tiller, who knows what's been through the yard all those years has been there. Three quarters, three quarters like last time, although last time I said I had four, but you know, my brain was still jelly from that uh, Morgan I dug. The only silver I dug today was a 1959D mint mark Washington quarter. Nice dig. I'll take a quarter over most dimes any day. And the best of all today was the gold ring. Gold ring has got one heck of a bend to it. The inside of it says, I couldn't read it at the time, but it says courtship 14k. Probably a wedding band. If I can, and I did, I took a picture, and if you see the picture after the dig video, I tried to capture it. If it didn't turn out, I didn't put it in there. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning when I was heading out, uh, Anthony with I Dig History is doing a silver giveaway. Head on over to his channel, watch the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and follow and you'll get a chance to win some great silver. Another thing I wanted to mention, I met a couple today while I was out digging and uh, the guy is, uh, he helps people develop their YouTube channel. The guy's name is uh, Brighton West. I'll take a picture of this and put it on after the video. And uh, he helps people develop, develop their YouTube channel, and he gave me some pointers, and those things I'm going to be incorporating into my videos. So, uh, subscribe. The next video I'll be doing will be a video of, of when I hit 100 subscribers. I'm going to do a coin giveaway, have some silver in there. So, once I hit that point, uh, be watching for that video, and we will see you then.